l'agence Mcom Interculturelle, la Mcom Conseil et l'association Artis sont euh, à Dinan à l'occasion du festival international de la harpe euh, celtique à la 35e édition, hein, donc euh, belle édition en perspective avec des artistes de renom. Pleased to meet you, Corinna Iwat. Uh, thanks to be uh, present here for us. Um, I would like to, um, to begin um, by your story, your aspiration. How uh, did you choose the instrument art? Well, I, was, uh, I played piano from a very young age. I also played fiddle, Scottish fiddle. And my family went travelling to the Isle of Skye on the west coast of Scotland and we stayed in a youth hostel. In this youth hostel was a woman who was also happened to be traveling and she was playing a Celtic harp in the quad. Okay. She was playing. So I went to say hello and <laughs> said, I really want to try. And she said, yeah, yeah, come on. So I immediately found the chords of the piano on the harp. And she was very supportive and said she would help me learn this instrument. She, she lived an hour away from me uh, on the east coast of Scotland. So she offered me lessons. I was very, uh, I was very lucky because she, uh, we didn't have any money for lessons. We, we were not uh, a rich family. Um, And so she offered for free to give me some lessons on the harp. Wow. Her husband built me a harp. Really? With, uh, yes, he did. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, nails, bent nails for, leave, for blades. And it was... <laughs> But I played it. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and we have in Scotland... Uh, a large group called the Clarsach Society. The Clarsach is the Gaelic word mm -hmm. for wire-strung harp. And through that society, I was able to hire a better harp to play. So she taught me uh, for free for a year. And then the, she was not a harp player. She was also a fiddler. But after a year, she said, okay, you know everything I know. You must go and do it yourself. So at the age of 14, I just uh, taught myself from then. And I, and then I applied uh, when I was 17 and I finished school. I applied to the Royal Scottish um, Music Academy, but not to do music, to do drama. Oh. I was to be an actress. Really? Yes. But I was only 17 and a year too young for the course. And they said, ah, go upstairs, uh, there's a music department. So I honestly went upstairs and said, hello, I'm a harp player. Can I do music for a year? And then I come and do the drama course. And they said, yes. And of course, once I did a year, I played pedal harp then. And I learned the pedals and I, So I studied pedal harp and then I decided, hey, I'm going to go do jazz. So I did a jazz degree on pedal harp. Wow. When actually I wanted to do drama. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually wasn't going to be a musician at all. And because I was teaching myself, I had to make my own melodies because I didn't know how to access music. I, 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 there was no other teacher for me. I, I was in the highlands of Scotland, up, uh, north of Inverness. So there was a, not many, there was no harp players up there mm -hmm. at this time. Um, so really I was on my own. So this is why I start writing music. Okay. Purely because I did not know how else to access music. This so is why. This is why you you have a sensitive approach. 
with your music. I think so. Like... I think so because it's all by ear, mm. um, and in Scotland we respond to each other mm. when uh, we have a lot of sessions. My mother ran a, a place called the Home of Highland Music, called Balnain House, and actually Maison de la Harpe uh, in Dinon was inspired by. Balnain House. <laughs> it's crazy. Which was run by my mum, oh. my mother. So in Balnain House, we would have sessions, there would be fiddles, and they'd just play tunes. And uh, uh. So I, I learned my trade through just playing with other people. Oh, wow. And I think this is one of my best, the, 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 the skill I find the most important in my life mm. is just to be able to listen and respond, like uh, communication. We yeah. tell stories in our music and in our songs, and this is what it is all about for me. And to ah, yes, I would never, I never dreamed of playing anybody else's music. Mm. Always the music had to come from me in, inside. Mm. Perfect. Uh, this is why uh, you are one of the leading prayers in the world today. You say, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I confirm. And you, <laughs> one, there's lots, Four. many. <laughs> <laughs> and you have uh, toured throughout Europe, the Far East, uh, North America, Canada. Mm. And during these international tours, what made observations uh, you, are, you have on the public support? Uh, the manias to play, uh, is there a good place to play or have you got a memory, a best memory? Wow, the, the, every place I visit there is a different memory mm. because there are different people yeah. and there are different m melodies and different music. So everywhere I go I try to learn something from that culture mm -hmm. and meet the people. And in those meetings, that's where my memories are. Uh, the sharing of music, learning a, a piece, learning a tune from someone else in the Far East. There's a harp player, Chincha, mm -hmm. and she plays very Chinese music, and she taught me tunes. <laughs> in Canada, um, they have ancestry from Scotland. Okay. During the Highland clearances, in the 1750s onwards to like 1800 the many people in Scotland were moved from their land and many people went to Nova Scotia New Scotland on the east coast of Canada mm -hmm. Nova Scotia now their melodies came from Scotland <laughs> and they stay very true to the Scottish feel so going there is like going home yeah, you know it's very familiar Yes, I, <laughs> yes. You're on. I am home. <laughs> but then coming to uh, France, to Dinon, the, there's a different tradition, but again, it's, it's based in a dance tradition mm -hmm. and stories and connection. Mm. So I feel very familiar here as well. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they all are great memories. Okay, it's, it's, a, good, uh, it's a good answer. Okay, good. Phew. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you have done uh, lessons yes to uh, to a young public um, you have a, a passion for Scottish traditional music and song mm -hmm. um, and we can understand because we love it also uh, according to you um, what could be the best way to transmit uh, this what advices you could communicate uh, mm -hmm. to young people Okay, well, firstly, I think a very important thing is to listen. If you can be in the moment and listen, then everything that is happening around you informs your music, your life, your thoughts, your feelings. So listening is first. Mm. And then, so I teach them to listen. <laughs> so I will teach a tune and I just let them listen and I show them the very basic basic tune and then I show them a development 
develop the tune a little. The feel, so taka taka yaka taka yaka taka da could be jaka taka yaka taka yaka taka da or da 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 and then uh, basic chords just and then and teach them just very development like this and show them all the building blocks mm. it's like um, an artist palette of color yeah i have the red the blue the yellow and then a mix and i add in and then we make green and then we have a little black <laughs> and white and purple and uh, and then all the colors and give them all of this color palette mm -hmm. for them to use but show them the way mm -hmm. to build themselves rather than listen to me be like me i i don't want that mm -hmm. i would rather listen to me but listen to her and listen to them and listen to this and that and that and then use all of those things to be your own person. We can say that you live a dream, uh, playing uh, harp all around the world. And uh, in this way, um, what are your following dreams? Well, How do you feed your dreams today? <laughs> I am... Um, I am not anywhere near where I want to be in my music. I am only at the start. So the music I hear in my head is still I cannot create. So I'm always trying to create this, but I never quite get there. My father said, life is like a ladder. Where do you want to be on this ladder? And I, so I picked a place and I said, I want to be there. Mm -hmm. He said, if you want to be there, you will only ever get there. But if you want to go there, maybe you will reach here. Or maybe you will reach here. Or maybe, but never make your dreams too small. Mm. So, so my dreams are huge, huge. I also work with many choirs. I write vocal music. Mm -hmm and uh, big arrangements for big groups. So I'm always uh, thinking bigger, more harmony. My, I think in music is like this, but also this, and also this. So there's very much a 3D, you know what I mean? Three-dimensional. Yeah. So <laughs> my, my dreams are all this. It's very hard to explain. It, no, I understand. <laughs> But yeah. constantly in my head there is music, huge, big, full, full, and full. It's very noisy. Mm. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah, it, it is. It's a form of, of quantique, you know quantique? La physique quantique? Quantique physique? Oh yeah, you know? okay, yes, yes, quantum uh, physique. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm uh, really, uh, you know? Uh, yes. So in, in, in all, the, the, all your sides, all the proportions, Oh, the, and no. the depth, yes, yes, that's exactly it. Mm. And when you see something or hear something, it might be from your perspective, just this. Mm. But if you look at another perspective or another, or it could be so much, so much different. Uh, and it could be solid, it could be liquid. It, no yeah. limits. No limits. So <laughs> I, I, am, I am unable to tell you what my dreams are. But the, the next, the next interview. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah well, sorry. Je will program. Je programme d'avance parce que bon. Do you know uh, Kali and Carly? <laughs> I do. Really? Alors, just, just to inform. Uh, en public. Alors, euh, juste pour vous qui ne connaissez pas, Camille et euh, Kennardy, euh, c'est deux jeunes femmes harpistes hein, qui, euh, qui un peu euh, cassent les, euh, le, on va dire ça, l'image euh, de la harpe en, en étant un peu plus, euh, comment je peux dire ça, inspirées, euh, en étant aussi dans la séduction aussi, et en revisitant des morceaux 
euh, justement par leur propre, euh, en étant euh, en étant eux-mêmes et en revisitant euh, tout ça. Et elles ont, euh, je ne sais pas si c'est sur elles qui ont créé, mais en tout cas, elles parlent de harp metal. Ouais, c'est un peu le, le, le style de leur musique. So, <rire> so uh, Corinna, uh, what do you think about them? Uh, mm. Honestly? Oh, but of course. Okay. <laughs> I think they are promoting the harp a lot and this is great for harp. I am not personally very keen on recreating metal harp, metal music on the harp. I think it is more for show than musically of depth. But they do their show well and people seem to really love it. Mm -hmm. So I am very supportive of this because obviously they are, and they are good harp players, but their videos are somewhat more... Um, Performance. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And I personally am not so keen on this, mm -hmm. but um, they promote the harp and this is, can, it can't be a bad thing. Yeah, in yeah. that respect, yeah. and they're very beautiful, yeah. and they play on that also. Mm. Unfortunately, I've never had the beauty. I've always had to go for the music, <laughs> but that's we have our cross to bear. To be honest, you are a very nice person. Oh, I'm nice really? inside, yeah. Yeah, but you, you're right. Uh, we have also to promote uh, the harp, and mm. um, all the versions are welcome to promote the yes. harp. So, exactly. merci Camille et Canonique. <laughs> um, okay, uh, the last question, two questions to finish. Um, what, how, uh, how do you develop your creativity? What are your inspirations? What do you read? What do you, do you see? <laughs> I love um, the sea. I love the beach, the water, the sand the stones, the trees, the land. I love to walk and I love to be in amongst and breathe in trees. Trees are so fantastic. Um, so very much the land and the sea for me um, is, is critical. I grew up in a very beautiful area on the, uh, called the Black Isle in Scotland and it's lush. You have the sea right there, mm. uh, the Murray Firth, but you also have beautiful land. So for me, just being connected to the land is very important. Um, I read, I read all <laughs> sorts. I love reading. I've always got a book on the go. Um, but I am trying to be more involved in learning about um, how to communicate better. So. I have many friends who are musicians and actually some of them are writers. So we share lots of thoughts. We, mm -hmm. we have parties and chat and throw big ideas together. So my friends and the land and the sea are, give me my creativity. And also all my students. Yeah. I work with many students yeah. and I give them ideas and, and they in turn are giving me ideas. And also I listen to a lot of music. So every single thing I hear is giving me ideas. Yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. very inspired by people. So many of my pieces I write are about people, about mm. their color, their, the key they are in. Some people are in the key of G. Yeah. Some people are a D or a minor. Yeah. Um, so, so just feeding off people. Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's it's a You're constant right. circle yeah. of of giving and and receiving, mm. and, and that's very important. The if I'm if I'm on my own, I can be quite insular. Mm. So I mm -hmm. need my daughter now is a constant source of grounding me to the earth, but also teaching me that <laughs> there's much more to life than head music. It's actually just breathe. She was evocated. She what? She was evocated. 
for the show. Yes. Evening. <laughs> you have talked about this. Yes, and and she still is. Mm. She teaches me many things mm. and has done. Mm. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Yeah, mm. and about yeah, children. Corinna, um, yesterday evening for the show, mm. um, you have uh, you did play with uh, Leonard Jacob, uh, and it was fantastic. Ready, ready for that. Um, <laughs> it Good. was it was uh, an improvisation or it was. Uh... We had decided. I w I was wanting to play one of Merzin's pieces, Rencontre, which he taught me when he had first written it. Okay. I happened to be here at the festival. I don't know when that was. Many many years ago. Um, so and I have recorded it on one of my albums. Um, because I, I think it's very quirky. So I thought it'd be really nice to play this for Mercy and the festival. So um, Leonard, he, he was happy to play. So we, we just jam, we just jam this. And then he, then maybe a reel just to pick it up. And then this ba 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 fling thing. So it was very unorganized, yeah, but okay. we had a, We had an idea of a kind of a shape. Oh, it, it was, was fine. It was, <gasps> it was nice. It's really. nice. It's nice oh, yeah, to yeah. get together. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because MCOM Conseil, it's a communication agency who works on diversity, mm. mix, cultural, mm. uh, you know, so uh, we, we love see and learn and uh, uh, all the, 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 the meetings, you know, uh, when, when two worlds uh, meet each yeah. other. It's, yes. it's fantastic. <laughs> yes, yes. Really. it so. is. It's really exciting for us mm. as well. And uh, Leonard has asked if maybe we can get together again to maybe work on some other music yeah. together. So this would oh, be it's, lovely. It, it was. It was. Uh, so the, the festival brought us together because I had never even heard of Leonard before. I met him at oh, this well. festival. It's done. Yeah, it's done now. <laughs> Check. Yeah. <laughs> it's their fault. <laughs> the last question. Um, uh, yesterday we celebrate in France uh, the Independence Day. Uh, you know, so. Yes. Well, today it's uh, footballistic. Um, but yes. <laughs> um, mm. in uh, Scotland, uh, we, uh, I, I learned uh, that uh, uh, you celebrate uh, uh, the Saint Andrew. St. Andrew's Day, Day, yes. Day. The um, end of November. Yeah. Voilà. Um, on this special day, uh, which message could, could you uh, deliver uh, to the people of the world to finish this interview? In well, St. Andrew's Day is definitely... He, he is the patron saint of Scotland, but I actually hope one day Scotland will be celebrating its own Independence Day from England so that we um, feel strong enough in ourselves as people and with the resources we have in our country that we can support ourselves mm. and are not beholden to Westminster or people who have more money and own our country. We don't want this. We, we need to stand up for ourselves, feel strong enough yeah. in ourselves to make our voices heard and know that our voice is as important as every other voice and not to feel ashamed, but to feel really proud of what we have. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to... Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm going to... No, uh, no, don't, don't, you are, you are, freedom. You are, you are, yeah, <laughs> but you are, yes, but it's important to talk about liberty, about about uh, uh, humanity, about power sports, within you know. people. Power. Mm. We all have power in ourselves. Mm. We do not have to listen to the words from above to tell us we are all mm. strong, and we need to believe this. Yeah, this is really important. <gasps> See, uh, it's a strong interview for me. <laughs> Ready. Uh, so, uh, voilà. On termine sur une note d'émotion. Thanks a lot, Corinna. 
My pleasure. Really. <laughs> My pleasure. And uh, voilà, take the time to relax also because you need it, I think. And uh, and uh, uh, I have a nice, a nice uh, how we say, um, um, life. Have a nice life. That's great. Voilà. And we, we follow you. We follow you. Okay. We keep contact. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Voilà, merci beaucoup euh, à tous qui nous avaient euh, donc suivis. Euh, nous allons donc euh, finir cette, cette, euh, ce beau festival à travers la soirée de clôture de ce soir et le Fest Nose, avec des artistes aussi qui demandent à être euh, révélés. Et euh, je vous invite, comme vous le savez, à chaque habitude, vous likez, vous partagez, vous aimez, bref, euh, vous en parlez autour de vous. Euh, M comme conseil, pour vous servir, journaliste territorial sur le terrain, on vous aime et euh, à bientôt. Mmh.